Welcome to Our Kind of Homesteading. We're your hosts, Sherry and Shauna. When I was in the middle of saying Our Kind of Homesteading, I was like, oh my God, are we doing pork chops? <laughs> yeah, like, but yeah. then you were like looking at your hair. I was like, no, okay, we're good. We're good. Okay. <laughs> she didn't look over at me and like, what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> Wrong goddamn um, podcast. <sighs> Hello. So today, so we talk a lot about um, obviously getting ready or uh, She's like, hold on, hold on. Words are filtering into my brain. <laughs> They're not, Let though. Let me it's just, slow It's just down. like that static noise right now inside my head. Okay. So it's January. Yes. And we here in the Northern Hemisphere are getting ready for spring for our gardens. But beyond that, when you're getting ready for gardening, you also have to kind of be mindful about the rest of your homestead. Yeah, and like what you could be doing to get – she's awake, actually. She's nursing. Yeah, in a minute. Can you come back in like five minutes? Yes, sorry. I would forever appreciate you. Um, sorry, juggling fine, babies and kids. Fine, we just have the time to just like get ready. Okay. We'll just yell really loud. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so like your – because obviously, you know, your garden and stuff, and most people, most homesteaders have that. But you might also have chickens. You might also have goats. You might also have other things that need to have some sort of plan for the upcoming spring. Yeah, the upcoming year. So um, I think January is a really good time to kind of get all your ducks in a row. Uh huh. Ducks it in a row. That's very cute. <laughs> very, yeah? very cute. I yeah. do. I like it. Uh, maybe that was the way we should call the episode. Get your ducks in a row. Oh, I love it. That's I'm so adorable. amazing. I know. I'm amazing. I'm good at this. Okay. <laughs> um, She's like, just ask me. <laughs> but yes, yeah, so Sherry and I, like for instance, instance, I can also speak, um, are figuring out like getting our goats bred because yes, any animal that you oh. get, dairy animal that you get, they won't just have milk forever. Um, unfortunately, unfortunately. that would be really fucking <laughs> awesome. By the way, it was. It but no, be. we'd have a less less animals on this earth if they would just stay in fucking milk. Right. But they need to be bred again, or you need to get another animal to breed to give you that milk, like every couple years. Um, I yeah. have really pushed the envelope on mine, and I went about three years. Um, and it's just, and the other one I think went four years, and she was giving way less milk but now they're just like since we've been back from vacation and they weren't getting milked it's just like now there's just nothing left which is fine i, I really it. think leah could have gone longer even though it has been like the, almost like three years has it really been three years yeah no no yeah no yeah that was our the goats are not three years old the babies yeah no false two and something they're almost three Will they be three in yes. July? Yeah. Jesus fucking Christ. That's so weird. When did that happen? I don't know. Yeah, like you're having babies. Ugh, God. You don't Anyways, know what day it is. I don't know what day it is. I don't know what year it is, apparently. So, yeah. Uh, I think Leah honestly could have gone longer. Like, she was she, she was giving plenty of milk just because I slowed down in, in milking her. Yeah. I was being a huge slacker. But because the other three... Well, you're also having a baby. Weren't giving as much. I was also hugely pregnant having a baby, and I was like, you know what? Fuck it. I'm so over this. I'm just going to dry them up. They're fine. They should be dried up anyways. They all need to be bred. And I'm going to breed all four of them at the same time. Boom, That'll boom, be a lot. Boom, boom. A yeah. lot of babies. Goodbye. Casey's taking most of them. That's nice. Goodbye. 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 Yeah, my husband's like, as long as we don't have baby goats. He's like, well, we're going to have them. But... I do want to find good homes for the baby goats once they are weaned from their mothers. Yeah. To, you know, hopefully like 4-H homes or something. Well, you have to actually wean them. I know. See, I'm bad at that. I'm bad at that. I probably was going to keep them. Don't tell my husband. Nobody tell him. I'm sure he <laughs> listens to this. <laughs> so too late. You just did. No, he'll be fine. He's not going to listen. So as long as nobody says anything, we'll be fine. <clears throat> Everyone's calling my husband. I'm like, you traitors. <laughs> All of you. <laughs> You're like, whose podcast is this? Um... Anywho, so beyond the – not just thinking about like, okay, I need to breed this goat, and then that's the end of it. So if you are just getting into breeding goats, there's probably a lot more for you to think about. And obviously, even for us, like we have to make sure we have – I know it's like once you breed them and then you still have quite a long time. You have like the five months to get ready for said goat. Um, you But getting start getting your kitting kit together – yeah. 
<laughs> well, in that five months, um, it can go by pretty quickly, <laughs> obviously. So, yes. But, I feel like you have more time now than in like gardening season. Yeah, exactly. Like do it now when everything is pretty slow and there's nothing really going on and you're not out there in your garden like tending to it so much. You're not giving all the other animals or other what whatever, right? It's like just do it now so that – you know, you have the time. and At least start making the list of all the things you need. If you already have a kitting kit, like go through it and be like, okay, I need to add what this to it. What needs replenished. Yeah, what needs to be replaced. Yes. So um, we should put together a kit and take pictures of every item. We shall. We shall. So, I mean, we have a kit, but yeah. like it definitely isn't something that I would take pictures of right now. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's it a, has in five minutes. You're a very good time teller. Um, Ours are kind of like a hot mess right now. They're not Instagram ready, okay? Oh Our kidding kits. So we will do that. And I think we've said that before and we never did it. So we're going to do that. Um, but the what that entails is, is mostly just um, like we have towels. Um, we have, um, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, scissors. You have... Um, Things to, um, whatchamacallit, you have gloves, you can have your uh, alcohol or whatchamacallit, sanitizer. God, that why is that word like eluding me? To, so because a lot of the times it's like you get home and or you have to like run out there and your goats are like giving birth and you weren't ready for it. So you're like, my hands aren't clean. Yeah. So having that stuff like already in your kit, right? Yeah. Um, having the sanitizer or something to like clean your hands with alcohol or something like that. Um, to clean your hands very quickly and then to be able to go in and assist. So you don't always have to help your goat or whatever animal give birth. Sometimes they do it all on their own. And a lot of people are like, well, they're animals and they do it on their own all the time. Well, just like anything else, shit happens. And sometimes you have to fucking help. So be ready for that. Might as well be prepared for that. And in that preparation, you should probably, if this is your first time, you should have not just your vet's number on hand, but a lot of the times your vet, your mobile vets, they cannot get to you right away, if ever that day, because they are very busy. And so you need to have somebody that has done it, a homestead friend, who can come and help you so you're not freaking the fuck out. Because it can be stressful. Yeah, and like, and the thing with, with, thing with like births of any kind, you just never know how it's going to go. And it can go really smoothly. All of a sudden you look out in the pasture, oh, look, the goat had two fucking babies and she's pushing more out. Great. Or... They can be completely stuck and you're having to go in and actually like help like turn babies inside of her and pull them out and it can be just night and day differences. So be prepared. Have numbers on hand. A couple maybe like the vets and then like maybe like two friends, friends homestead that already, people not that have friends, already done it. Yeah. Not, not friends that want to come watch. No. Friends that are, you know, actually tried and true. They've gone through births. They've gone they through traumatic births. They know what the, where, how to grab the legs right. and how to pull them out. They've uh-huh. done it before. Yes. Yes. My mom is like the goat midwife, and so everybody calls her. And even I still, like, will, if it's super difficult, I still rely on her. Um, it's always good to have even a second set of hands available, not just for... Because sometimes you get so wrapped up, and you're like, what am I feeling right now? Like, and you can't, like, step away. You know, does that make sense? You can't, yeah. like... Yeah, You're so, like, keyed up or flustered or whatever you want to call it it's very flustering because obviously you know these babies the mommy the mama goats in pain and then the babies only have a limited amount of time and you want to get them out as soon as you can and things can get very 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 flustering very quickly so yeah have some have a couple numbers on hand people that have already gone through it and stuff and all your supplies definitely all your supplies (laughs) i would recommend putting plastic trash bags and Mm. or towels I said towels I was either trying in to make a or list, next but... to your your kit because once those babies are coming out, if you do have to help, and if the mommy goat is or mom whatever you are birthing from, um, if they're not up like tending to the baby, then you're gonna need to do all that for the baby. Like if there's more babies coming out, let's say, so you know you put the baby on the plastic bag on the on the you know in the pen with you or on the towel, and then you can assist with other babies because especially with the goats, they're gonna have more than one. Most of, most of the time. And if you do have just one, it's going to be a big baby. Big baby. It's probably going to be a bitch to get out. One. Yeah, it's easier to have, to have two. Two's the best. Yeah. Two's the best number. Yeah. Um, and and like Sherry said, there's so many, that could, so many things that can go wrong and can be very stressful in that environment. So um, 
having another person there to play off of is super helpful. Having somebody there that can be the one that is the calm in the storm is super helpful. So like, and y'all, I always, it's funny because like, I will be that person if I need to be. Right, right. If you're like, what role am I playing today? Yes. Okay, yes. the calm one. So like, Check. got it. Yeah. So like yeah. my, our younger sister who has birthed probably more goats than me. She, cause she was like in it, right? She was like a, she's a goat person. Like when she, before she had her baby, she was like doing all the shows. She had all the goats. She had a huge herd. She was like, like they would very go much, like, like they went nationals. to nationals. Like, yeah, they were like very much shows. Like I have a national state, showing herd. The place yeah. And like, it's it just crazy. insane. Yeah. So she has birthed way more ghosts than me, but she be cray. <laughs> when she be cray, she be cray. She be cray. She be cray. And she's a hyphy a- wifey, <laughs> you know? She not, she not, she's not calm. And she knows she reminds me. She reminds me of mom. She's so much like mom in that, right? Like mom gets super hyphy. Like mom is very knowledgeable. I think that's the difference. Like not that Shanley's not knowledgeable, but like mom is like, this is just what I need to be done. What needs to get done. But she's hyphy about but it. But she's super hyphy. Like, you know, the entire time she's like, like high, heavy, strong, and crazy. Like, you know, you know like, like if you want to add I mean, a, a crazy job. element she's... to anything, like you bring them. They will help you. <laughs> They'll help you bring that up a notch. You know, It'd be like, we need some energy in this room. Got you. So I knew that because she was the hyphy one, like I had to be the calm one in the situation. Yeah. And yeah. so like I could be like, okay, like everything's fine. And like if she was struggling to get this deformed baby out. And so I knew I was the one that I'm going to have to do this. This is going to be my job I'm today. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like this is so you kind of have to like, I guess, know yourself and know who you're going to have to like two hyphy people in the same, you know, it's probably not the best, you know? Yeah. I guess I can't I was explain on the that phone. anymore. We had, so dairy goats are normally going to be, they're, they're not going to usually have too traumatic of deliveries because they are a dairy goat. So they're meant to, like literally, that's like their purpose, correct? They're meant to birth babies and then give milk, okay? So now your other goats, like pygmies and boars, they're not they're not a dairy animal. And they might have a harder time having those babies. I feel babies. like even the dairy animals, got, like... Not, no. Damn. No, no, I don't... I damn. Really, you know, the hardest, the hardest ones that we've had have been the pygmies. Oh, yeah, and, yeah, Okay, yeah. so pygmies are my ultimate favorite goat ever, by the way. They're just so fucking hardy, and they're just little balls cute of just fat. rambunctious fur. So yeah. fat Why and can't cute. I be cute What is fat? happening? How are you that cute and fat? I know. Like, I want to be a butterball, and everybody be like, aw, <laughs> that's, that's adorable. adorable. You're like, adorable. Thank you. <laughs> More, please. <laughs> yeah, so, but on the on the offhand of that, they're, they can have pretty stressful bursts because... Anyways, they're tiny if there's more than a couple in there. So I had one that had three, and they were all tangled. My mom's not home, of course. And this is years ago. Damn not that her. my mom needs to be home. She I mean, needs I'm to be also here. a mom. No. And I'm like, she needs to be here. That's her fault. <laughs> How dare I'm like, you? My mom wasn't home to help. <laughs> I feel so that way about everything. My dad's home, and my dad's <laughs> like, I'm is hungry. Like, Where is my mom? <laughs> Where is my mom? What's for dinner? Mom? 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 Um, so my dad's home, and he's like, he. He also gets hyphy, not as hyphy as mom, mm-hmm. but he also lacks the knowledge. Like he doesn't, he relies on us for the knowledge, mm-hmm. right? And so I'm helping this goat and I knew she needed help because she's been pushing and pushing for far too long. And, you know, there's only like a couple little legs sticking out. Well, it happens to be two separate legs from two uh... separate fucking little baby goats. Cool. Yeah. Thank you, Dave, for walking. Dave's like, hello. <laughs> Dave's just like, cameo. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Everyone's going to see your terrible, terrible. hair. No, they saw my terrible hair the whole time. It's fine. So anyways, um, so my dad is, you know, he's trying to give me advice, but it's, it's awful advice because he has no idea what he's saying. And then I shut up, there, dad. <laughs> yeah. And I'm in there and my kids are there and, and they're crying because it's, it gets very stressful. Well, cause the, the mom goat is upset. I mean, she's And then you know that there's like, yeah. And you're like, okay, like I have to make decisions very quickly for Quick to, decisions to make sure that this, this baby lives as mom lives yeah. and then everybody else you want, around you. You want a happy fucking story, yeah. people. Yeah. yeah. We want a happy fucking ending. Yeah. We were promised, you don't okay? want it to be traumatic. So you're not hungry. You're, they're just throwing you at me and they're like, take her. She's hungry. You're not hungry. You're a fibber. That's what you are. Anyways, so um, I ended up getting the, the goats out, but I was on, I remember calling my mom. My dad calls my mom because he's like, okay, I'm just going to call your mom and she's going to talk you through this. And like, I didn't really need to be talked through anything. Like I was good, but dad was like, no, no, we need more, more advice. You more know? And so um, I'm knowledge. on the phone with my mom and, and my dad, you know, he's, 
he's kind of like the the relay guy, right? He's telling me what she's saying, even though I can fucking hear her over the phone because she's on speakerphone. <laughs> and um, and my mom's like, I'm like, oh, I got it. I okay, I pushed the one leg back in, and now I'm following this leg. Oh, I feel a shoulder. I'm gonna pull on the on the on the goat's next contraction. And my mom's like, you can't pull with one leg and one shoulder. I was like, I fucking can. I will. I did. And the goat was fine. No she's broken like, legs. You cannot. She's like, you can't do that. Yeah. I was like, I'm fucking doing it. Yeah, sometimes you she's have like, to You've follow. gotta have two legs. You I was have like, to they've already your... been in here too long. Yep. You gotta see, it was like me making a decision like if I don't just get a, at least one of these goats out and and help her along with this process and get them all they're out. All I don't know die. how he's in there. Yeah. They're all gonna fucking die. And so is she. So it can be very, very stressful. Not and trying have to scare to... anybody off of it, by the way. No. It's it's also wonderful and beautiful and all those things. And you're going to have shitty things where, like, you know, they're going to... You're going to have years moms where... Moms are going to die. Babies are going to die. And babies are going to die. die but... If you're breeding, like, it's just... It's the nature of the beast. It is the nature of the beast. But I had one year Not where... And we've had plenty of years where you look out in the pasture, like, with Liam, the one that had four goats, my Nigerian, who has a ton of milk. She just had her babies. Just like, boop, 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 boop. Thank you, Leah. Like absolutely fucking amazing yeah you know so you, you just good never years know and bad years and you just gotta kind of roll with it but use your instincts how sherry was like no i'm i just have to i'm gonna do this like this because this is like the i'm here feeling this this is what i have to do so but also have people that you know that are knowledgeable yes. on hand to yes, call definitely. to get there or whatever and that's for anything right that's for everything <laughs> knowledge like, even is passed when like, down right yeah, and it's like allow people to pass it down to you yeah because that's like don't that's think an amazing don't try thing. to do it all yourself that's no dumb like don't no, that, reinvent that is, the wheel no no just that's like so, when you're gardening so you go and you get advice from people like how best should i grow these fucking tomatoes you know yeah. and somebody tells you and you're like oh fuck i didn't know that yeah you know it's just like obviously you don't need somebody there but you're like okay i'm gonna help you watch this tomato grow like but <laughs> like you know <laughs> we're gonna hold hands sing kumbaya <laughs> yay um but in that in that um in this instance with animals and breeding you definitely need some numbers on hand to call an emergency basis. So like Sherry said, not always. You won't always need to call them. But yep. it's nice to have those numbers already ahead of time. And so you're not like your goat's not there. Because like if you have those numbers, you know those people can get to you within, you know, twenty minutes, thirty minutes, then it's way better than like frantically trying to find somebody and you know your goat's dying out in the pasture. Like that's that's dumb. Don't do that. Yeah, no, and and you're just you're setting yourself up or like whatever for animal. success when you have those numbers, when you have your kit ready, when you have all the things in your kit that need to be in your kit, and so you're not like, oh my god, where's this? Oh my gosh, so and so, go run in the house. It's in this top cupboard on this shelf. Blah, oh, blah. another like, don't do that to yourself. It another just makes thing more in your chaos. kit is the KY jelly. Okay, when you go to the store <laughs> and you're buying your mass amount of KY jelly and gloves <laughs> and. <laughs> You can be like, yeah, yeah, it's for that. <laughs> yeah. That's exactly what you're and thinking. And like people and the guys like looking at you as you're checking out and you're just like, you don't tell them anything. You just have an awkward smile the whole time. Okay. <laughs> and look directly into Very, eyes. very be uncomfortable. Great. Yeah. For him. <laughs> for him. <laughs> you try to say something like, you know, no, it, it's, it's for goats. It makes it sound so much better. <laughs> <laughs> Mom. That, that's something mom would say, by the way. She'd be like, no, it's for goats. I'd She'd say, say stuff it like, that, like too. that, And they'd be like, OMG, you? <laughs> please, TMI. No, thank you. I didn't ask. I don't know. Please don't tell me anymore. Mom, um, <laughs> she, she, my, our mom, like, delivers, like, DoorDash and shit. And she, and she fucking, like, loves it. And so she delivers, she's telling me she delivers KY jelly to the, Wow. To this, just this, 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 like, single guy in his, like, apartment. Like, so fucking funny. And she was like, and how is she saying it to me? Oh, my God. She's, I just love mom so much. And she was, she's so creeped out by it. Like, the fact that he, like, most likely masturbates. You're like, yeah, yeah. They, they all do, mom. They, they all do. Why are you, like, ordering that, though, from a door dasher? And you're <laughs> well, just like. Talk about fucking with someone. You're like, guess what you were delivering to me. <laughs> I mean. Pretty funny. <laughs> Hopefully it didn't on purpose. If not, I mean opportunity missed. Oh god. Baby, uh, you're a stinky girl. You just tooting toot 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 everywhere. Huh. Um beyond anim well, like your dairy animals are breeding, right? Because sometimes you're not just breeding, but some you know, we don't, but a lot of people do the breeding for the meat animals, right? Like rabbits and pigs and shit. Yeah. So obviously thinking about that, planning it all out, make sure when you're planning your animals, all different animals have different periods of gestation, meaning how long they're pregnant, 
And so that period of gestation, don't plan it when you're going to be on vacation. <laughs> I mean, not if you can, obviously, obviously during if the gestation planned. is fine, but don't plan it close to the end. No. Yeah. Or really anything like we know July is a very busy month. So we have to try to plan our goats giving birth around that to where they're not. It's not going to be in July. Um, you really want to set up, don't you? So it's just things like that. You kind of have to have more forethought than just like your garden, I guess. Like you have to have like forethought. Like I want to plant this in my garden, but like, you know, there's not a lot more that goes into it besides like I need to make sure I have my dirt and compost and I'm planting seeds. So it's like animals like take a little bit more extra of your time because like your garden, like I can be on vacation and I need somebody to water is like more than like, can you watch my animals give birth? And if it's traumatic, can you call this person and then maybe deliver them for yeah, me? Yeah, no, don't do that. That's a bunch of bull <laughs> fucked up bullshit. I would never, someone call me, I'd be like, oh, honey, no, you're missing that vacation. Yeah. Like, don't be, don't be an ass. Don't be selfish. Don't be an ass. That's um, ridiculous. Also, the other thing to think about is chickens, right? So, um, go, you know, you obviously, like, getting baby chicks in the spring is always super fun but like go really take a look at your flock make sure you look at your chicken coop can i fit more chickens do i need more chickens yes, all yes, that kind of yes. stuff and then if you do like you start looking through like the breeds what you want out of your chickens how many eggs you want if it's you're getting them for eggs if you're getting them for meat are you getting a dual purpose bird like what you're getting them for um so it's time to think about all that kind of stuff are you going to hatch your own baby chickens are you going to use an incubator are you going to use a broody hen you know, just a lot more than just like, like the, the spring gardening comes up so quick, but so does everything else. Like everything is like, you know, springtime, baby animals, breeding, all that stuff comes up very, very quickly. Like Sherry said, and then it's here before you know it. And then you're like, well, fuck, like, you know, and yeah. we have to wait till next year. Cause I yeah. didn't plan it out. Right. Exactly. So kind of go through each part of your homestead and start thinking like, what do I need to do for this part of it? Like for these animals, for my garden for whatever um area what are you looking at <laughs> the baby's like staring me down your your, your hand was she was like what are you <laughs> doing what that's, that's how i talk okay i'm italian what do you want i gotta talk with my hands like, i don't know but it is <laughs> i know she like loves it Woo! It's magical. it is magical um what else was i gonna say besides chickens Chickens, baby chicks. Chickens, baby animals, gardening. Blah, 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 And then, like, all the, there's, like, so much that needs to get done, like, before, like, gardening. If you have, like, your fruit trees, if you're planting on planting more, like, if you're, like, a lot of trees get planted in the spring, so... It just, um, it can be overwhelming, but it's like, it's, it's, uh, months like January where it's a really good time. We did a seed saving one or not seed saving, but, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Collecting? Seed. No, we just did the episode. I know we did. Like I getting your seed, not like ready, but like basically organizing. Jesus Christ. I can't even think of the word organizing. <laughs> You know, like that's like, uh, we're, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. So really try to plan out, I guess, your goals for the year for your homestead. What you have set up, what you want. It can be the same goals you had last year. It can be exactly the same. It's not like you have to have new ones this year, but it's like, okay, I need to breed these goats. And you can have it already in your head, but make sure you're really going through and being like, I need to get this done on this month. I need to get this done this month. Just like your seeds, just like growing your veggies. You need to plant them at different times, depending on what you're planting. You need to do the same thing with the rest of your homestead. You need to make sure that you allot time for it because otherwise it's just not going to happen if you are anything like us. Mm. It's just like if you don't. True story. If you don't put a little thing like this is when I'm doing this and you actually mark a day for it it just doesn't fucking happen we're just so busy it's just like if I don't allot a day for like I am planting these seeds on this day at this time it just doesn't fucking happen I hate having schedules too which is know, crazy because I, I have know. to schedule my you entire think, life you, you'd think that like it would be it would we wouldn't need that since we hate schedules so much like why do we hate schedules if we need it so badly it makes no sense we probably hate schedules because we need them like it's fuck man I just I cannot believe what I have to put on my counter. You know what I mean? Like, 
down to very specific things. Because otherwise it just doesn't get done. Not only do I not remember it, but if it's not on my calendar, I'm almost like, not important. <laughs> you know what I mean? My brain, I, my brain is seriously like it will, that. It will, it, I hate Because something else will just fill the spot. That's what I'm saying. You know, it will just fill that spot if you're not like, oh, that's what I'm doing today. I yes. got to get those seeds yes. planted. Then it's just like, you're like, oh, I'm going to make this bread because it sounds delicious for dinner. Literally. Yes, exactly. Or I'm going to go out and forage some mushrooms. That's all I want to do lately, by the way. That's all. That's it. That's all. I just want to go forage some mushrooms. I never have time. Never. It's like the perfect time, you know, to find like turkey tail mushrooms and amazing things that have medicinal benefits. And I can't. I don't have any time to go out and do it. What are you doing with your time? What am I doing? Yeah. Mostly, what do you do? Mostly just stuff with my kids. I mostly blame them. Yeah. Well, it's like I mean, getting out the door for their activities or like. You know, we have, we had that tree fall and, you know, you have to do stuff for animals and storms and fixing things and just like your everyday things that have to get done, you know? Well, and you've been super into like the whole beeswax right now too. I am. I love making candles right now. Yeah. I so don't you've know. you've been doing a lot. I haven't though. I think you have. I think I just need like better time management. I mean, I would for, well, for one, just tell your kids like, this is when we're leaving. Make sure you're ready by then. My kids want to mushroom. Like, they, they're the ones who got me into you. the mushroom foraging, by the way, is my children. Yeah. They're like, we want to do this. And I'm yeah. like, all right, we're going to do it. But now it just needs to get done. <laughs> now we just need to go do it. Um, we have been walking around and trying to, like, find the different mushrooms on our property. But most of the ones we have are all toxic, um, unfortunately. It's highly unfortunate. I know. Even, like, we have, like, false turkey tail. What are you? Why? Why? Why can't we have real turkey tail? It's a mushroom that's fucking with you already. I know. Yeah. I know. He's like, you think I'm turkey tail, don't you? I'm the false guy. <laughs> I knew it too right when it was coming up. I was like, that's probably false turkey tail. Um, you are a fussy monkey. Anyways, what so. Is, is that the damn dog again? Yes, I told what you to let is, him in. I did let him in. They didn't let him out. out. Anyways, the other things that, um, like baby goats baby anything getting ready wise um obviously time management's highly important in that um aspect like we said you can't like just be gone or even like if everybody in the household is going is gone most of the day you can do things like um um put um whatchamacallit like cameras on them that come right to your phone so you can watch your animals uh, we even did, my mom used to have like baby monitors out with the goats at night. Cause that's like, I don't know fucking why goats love to deliver in the middle of the night, but they do. <laughs> and a storm. And they a storm. want to deliver. Any bad weather. It's bad really weather. Hot. And fourth of and July one year. Remember the goats? Yeah, it was like, we were having like a party. A party. And we're all like in swimsuits, but we're like up in the goat pen delivering baby goats. Cause like, what else do you do on fourth of July, but deliver baby goats. But at least we were here. I know. So if you know that like. You know, you, everybody in the house works eight hours a day. You, your kids are gone at school all day and there's nobody there to be watching your animals because it really can happen at any time and you still want to have those animals. There are ways to get around that to where you can have like a little camera set up. It can go right to your phone. There's the technology yeah, and exists. Is, yeah. And which is really cool because then you, you don't feel like, okay, we like there was like one year, it was many years ago, but we were like, my mom was like, okay, someone has to be home at yes. all times. It was just ridiculous. It was, it was not wasn't really feasible and um especially if you don't have a big family i mean how is someone because I mean, that obviously. like two week period of yeah. like are the one week go? before and one go? week after yeah. their due date you really need to be like around all the time unless like you can have like uh, now we have the technology though yeah, exactly to That's where you can I mean. check in on them I mean, we don't go when we know the goats are due <laughs> we don't go very far though it's not like we're making a trip into our big city that's you know our nearest big huge city it's like no we don't do that it's like we're no, we stay 20 like, minutes away. We are exactly at the very most 20 minutes away. Probably not even then sometimes. I Well, I guess at your house. But yeah. So um, and what was I just thinking? About? I was just thinking another thing. Oh, I was going to say, and I know we've said it many, many times before, but if you are new-ish to homesteading, don't think, I know we talked about like making, writing out goals and what you're going to do, but keep it simple and keep it small. Don't like breed like five animals and have a garden and do something else and do other things. It's like. Yeah, so if this is your first slow year and, steady and people. you're like, I'm slow having all these Slow and steady goals. wins the race, okay? Slow the fuck down. Slow the fuck down because, like, you're, you're just going to be regretting it. It's not 
This isn't like this, there's no there's no medal at the end of this race, and there's this is not even a race. We already won it. Yeah, I'm we did. Kidding. We did. We did win. We did win. <laughs> High five, winner. Yeah. So um yeah no and it's just you're not competing against anybody, no. especially don't compete against yourself. That's an awful idea. And and you don't want to yeah. hate it because you exactly. Like and the point made is yourself crazy. Exactly. The point so, is to love it. The point yeah. is to just have a nice time. Yeah, and have so fun have and learn things. If it, if you are just getting started, even in the breeding aspect, that's a great point. Don't yeah. breed. Don't breed. Four goats, don't breed five like goats, four or five goats or at a time. I mean, if whatever it, you're breeding. If you're new to breeding animals in general, and like pick one, one species, one species, <laughs> and breed one, and breed one, or maybe two at the very, very most. Yeah. Okay, that's it. See how but, it goes. But no more than that. See if you even like it. You might totally, totally be grossed out. You might be like, "This was awful and traumatic, and I never want to do it again." There's so many different factors, and you just don't know until you experience it. And so don't experience it on, like, a grand scale. Like, experience it on a small scale. It's a great, very great tiny point. scale. And if you are new to even having the said animal, whether goats or otherwise, yeah, I wouldn't even breed them for at least a year. I would have that animal for at least yes at least take care of that animal one year for one year and see, and then if you still like that animal yes and you're like i want to get into this i want to have this i want this animal to have babies yes good you should do that and then go from there but don't like yeah we're gonna get an animal right away and breed it and i oh my god i don't know what i got myself into and that's like the worst because then you fucking hate it <coughs> you should never just get one goat though just FYI and you can't you can't most things most things are you shouldn't just get one animal that's like across the any board any animal that you're gonna have on a homestead is gonna be like a herd animal by the way like beyond like a livestock guardian dog and even then you most likely would want to chickens I know that you don't think of them as herd but they are a flock. flock and so um, just potato potato so uh, yeah. you can't just have one chicken you can't just have That's one goat <laughs> or a like there's this a chicken, chicken right there on the couch <laughs> um yeah, so you need yeah multiple of those, but we've we've we go over that in other episodes where we talk about do we? Yeah, we have said that multiple. times. I mean, we said multiple times. But so, yeah. we're gonna say it again. You should always yeah. have two of it. Like even when you go and get a fucking cat, like they like to be in pairs, you know. Like yeah. you should get two kittens. Yeah, you know. No Unless one, you're no like, one wants to be alone. No one likes to be by no. themselves. That's so no. like, do you like to be by yourself? I'm gonna I mean, guess like, no. Sometimes, but no, like, uh, no, no, not typically. No, there's no. No person on the planet wants to be completely, like, alone. Solitude. Exactly. Yes. So with that, we appreciate you guys stopping by and for listening. Um, hopefully we gave you some good tips. If you have an episode topic that you would like us to go over or you want some more information, you can always contact us at our kind of homesteading at Gmail. Sorry, I was like, what podcast are we in right now? I just did you. Um, <laughs> at gmail.com. Or you can get a hold of us through Instagram. It's the same thing, same handle, our kind of homesteading. Um, you can message us through there or through Facebook. Um, oh, we want to give a big shout out to Lexi. Thank you, Lexi. She's our top tiered patron over on Patreon. We really appreciate you. Um, over on uh, Porch Talk. Porch Talks. Porch Talks. Porch Talks? <laughs> Is it? We're no, so it's bad. Porch Talk. We should it's not Porch have talk. named it that. We should have named it something else. <laughs> We should not have given it a name. We don't know the could, name of our. Where it we could have name. been plural or could not have been plural. Like we shouldn't have done it. It's one of those. We sound like you big can try huge both. fucking idiots, by the way. <laughs> like how long well, have we been doing that? I mean, for those of you that have been around, you know, you know who you you're dealing with. Okay, <laughs> just so awful. Like porch talk, porch talks, porch talk. It's talks. porch talk. It's porch talk. Okay, fine. You. Anyways, anyways, uh, do we shout idiots. out? I'm sorry, Maddie, on this one. I just guess I just no, did, Megan. but. Oh, because as Maddie was did the other. Sorry, Maddie. We appreciate you too, though. She's also a patron. Yes, and we're shouting out Megan. Uh, she's another top tiered patron over on Porch Talk. <laughs> you did it. See, and, we know the name of our shows. And um and yeah, and we love you guys, and thank you for all the support. And uh, if you have not already, go check that podcast out. It's one of our our newer. It's a whole new podcast, completely different from this one, um, where we just basically, it's super fun, and we just talk and laugh and we have bonus episodes where we talk about like weird fucking i don't even know what monsters very, kind very, of thing it's, it it's, is it's, it's a lot of fun, fun. And, and you yeah. should at least go check out one episode it's only three dollars a month you should do it yes it will be worth your time i promise yes um other than that yes um we will talk to you all next time that's right bye guys bye